You're watching Backyard Tech. Well, when you were blind as a human, especially later in the, your years, you do end up in some cases with a guide dog, normally a Labrador or a Golden Retriever of some description. And not only is it a guide dog, but it's also a companion for you as well. But how often do you hear about a dog needing its own guide dog? It's bizarre news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, a staffy by the name of Amos, has its own guide dog who never leaves its side. From Backyard Tech, this is Bizarre News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Bizarre News time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for TGIF friday morning and um this isn't bizarre this is this is a nice news story we don't often cover nice news stories here at the backyard tech channel but this one caught my eye and i'm like you know what i'll put it under bizarre news because you don't often see this okay blind staffy amos has own guide dog who never leaves his side Owner Jess Martin says the pair have developed a quote, nice communication, close quote, and know each other's boundaries. And this is from Sky News over in the UK. Poor Staffy. Look, I'm a, I, I like a lot of dog breeds, and the other half is a mad one eyed Staffy lover. She loves Staffies. We had one, but we, uh, we had to um, give it to friends of ours because it kept getting let out of our home here. And it was just too unsafe. Talk about the big and small of things though there, hey? <laughs> Alright. And then you can see there, Amos on the right. The blind Staffy cross with a Border Terrier as best friend. So there's the Border Terrier, Toby. Let's get into this. A Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross has formed a special bond with a dog who navigates him around and helps him find his water bowl. Amos was born blind at a rescue centre and struggled to find a family. But Jess Martin, a 27-year-old who works in HR for the Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service, fell in love with him when she was volunteering at the centre and adopted him in August last year. She was initially wary of how her Border Terrier, nine-year-old Toby, would take to his new brother. But the pair quickly became best of friends and Toby is now Amos's unofficial guide dog. Now I've got to be honest, I've never heard of a dog needing a guide dog. He protects Amos from other dogs and gives him a nudge when he can't locate his water bowl. Quote, I thought it would be very difficult to find an owner and while Amos was on medical care for four months, we decided to foster him out in February last year, but after a while we realised we would never give him back, Ms Martin said. Quote, at the beginning, Toby growled at him a few times and then ignored him. Amos came from a kennel, so doesn't know how to socialise with other dogs. After a couple of days, I saw that Amos couldn't find his water bowl and Toby nudged him and helped him out. Close quote. Amos underwent an operation to have his eyes removed and now puts his trust in his best friend Toby, who acts as his, quote, bodyguard when they go out on adventures together. If he's in need of help, Amos simply gives Toby a nudge. Ms. Martin continued, quote, when we went when we went out on walks, Amos was very scared, especially of the noises, and Toby quickly picked up that he needed help. So every time Amos was stopping, Toby would go and lie next to him until he would be ready. That's actually really sweet. They have developed a nice communication between them and know each other's boundaries. Amos's main problem is that other dogs don't like him when they approach him obviously because he cannot communicate the same way, so he doesn't have other friends. But Toby is always there to protect him. We call him his bodyguard. So there you have the big and small of things. You have a poor Staffy. Well, I'm not, I'm not a massive Staffy fan, but they are nice dogs. I prefer my Golden Retrievers, Labradors, 
um, that sort of dog. But the Staffy that the other half and I had was beautiful. It's just that we had to, because he kept getting let out and we were worried for his safety, we, um, we sent him to friends of ours and he'll stay there permanently now, <laughs> unfortunately. But, you know, that is just such a sweet thing, isn't it? Like I said, you don't often hear about dogs needing guide dogs. But it's not nice when you've got a blind dog who finds it very hard to communicate, obviously. It's, it, it's harsh. I mean, as humans, right, if you're blind, um, I know down here in Geelong, a lot of people have got guide dogs along with those um, walking sticks they use. And the guide dogs aren't just, in some cases, there to guide their owners, but in some cases, they're there as a companion dog as well. You know, like an assistance dog, but without a, you know, obviously being blind. So I think that's a great news story. There we are. You don't often hear of that, though. A, uh, a staffy who's blind has got a, <laughs> a little, I suppose, yeah, but it'd be, be, size comparison's almost right, human. Golden Retriever or Labrador. But there we go. Bit of, a, bit of a nice news story there for a Friday morning. Stick around, more coming up. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.